Okay, uh, what's what's the last 24 hours been like for you? Like I asked you yesterday, you've always kind of imagined this moment, but what's it been like for you the last 24 hours? I mean, it's been pretty cool. It's been pretty cool, but I think we got to be able to take the wins and just move on and go up to the next game just like we did last one. This well, one seemed to be celebrated a lot by this team yesterday. Why, why do you think this one resonated so much with the group? First in conference one, you know, going away up at Pittsburgh. Uh, we got a lot of guys who are from there in some way, shape, or form, and, uh, you know, it's just good to go out there with the boys and get it done. What has been your favorite text in the last 24 hours that you've gotten? <laughs> favorite text in the last 24 hours? Oh, man. Uh... I don't know. Probably just talking to my mama there. Always my mama. She always hitting me up, just calling whatever habits. So it's probably something you know. So you got the game ball. Yep. What do you do with that? So I think they're going to do like a little painting on it or something just to sort of uh, talk about the incident that went down and then I'll save it and hopefully frame it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, to contribute, look, we, we understand how important it is to win, but when you're a part of the, the mm. team and you're contributing the way you do, does it, does it mean that much more to you? Oh, 100%. 100%. To have that be a go ahead touchdown means the world to me there. You know, help the team with the momentum and, you know, just go out there, have some fun. But, um, you know, to have a touchdown late in the game would have been, you know, it would have been fun, but it wouldn't have been that, like, meant something like that. Yeah. You know, the fact that it was you and Samaj P. Ryan, who don't normally get those calls, getting those calls and taking advantage of it, I mean, what does it say about what you guys could do with all your playmakers? Yeah, I mean, Samaj went crazy. He had three touchdowns. Um, so it was good to see him. And he's, he's always that guy doing his thing and everything. Um, but, you know, we had some guys come in there. We had Travion make some plays. He had four tackles on special teams, which is unheard of. Uh, so we had a lot of young guys or guys who don't always get the opportunities make some plays, which was pretty cool to see them do that. And I think that just shows the type of team we got. How much more important is that in this half of the season with just a couple games left down the stretch? I mean, you know, we, we have to get the, get the ball rolling. You know, we're, we were 5-4, and 6-4 and four now, and we, we just got to keep winning, keep stacking them. The broadcast mics caught some of the conversation between you and Joe Burrow. What was, what did he share with you after that touchdown? I think it was just a lot of energy. A lot of energy. We were out there screaming, having fun. I mean, you know, to have last week's taken away and then have this one connect um, in a special way, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. So I think that was part of the emotion there. And, and uh, you know, I felt it from the whole team there, and it was, it was pretty cool. How much did that mean to you, uh, all your teammates talking about how hard you worked? I know Joe referred to yeah. it a bunch of times, and I'm sure other guys have as well. Being so excited for you to have that success and have that moment. Yeah, no, it meant a ton. It meant a ton. I, I was going to get a little dance, but they all swarmed me, and it was it was a good little celebration. And, uh, you know, just to have all those guys have my back and, you know, have their back in the right situations, it's it's a pretty unique team sport in that way. Is the That's dance, right? dance going to come on the second one It's going to come. It's going to come. Yeah. I saw you shared on your Instagram story a little video about the times that you were cut, coming mm. back and all that. And so you lived the lows and now you live the high. What is the high like at this moment? That was actually my little, I have like a little Trent Irwin fan page, which has like 200 followers, but they, they, they always show in love. They're keeping track of everything, staying with it. I don't know them personally that well. I talk to them once in a while, um, but they, they had that thing ready and shot it out there quick. And, uh, I mean, it, it, it's it's true to my heart there. What you know, it's that's the grind. You know, you undrafted free agent, you get cut, you get activated, you try to make plays and try to put do something for the team there, and to, you know, see it all come into fruition is pretty cool. But we got to get on the next week. You know, I celebrate today, celebrate a little tomorrow, and then next week it's it's back to business, back to everything.